So Joe, catching up, a month of lockdown, um, probably going to be extended, strange times, yeah. but how's it all been with you? Um, yeah, it's been good. Shaved me head. Um, yeah, that's about it. Shaved head, growing a bit of a beard. Yeah, me and my housemate have, uh, have both said we're going to grow our rubbish beards until uh, we're back training. Well, I'm back training, he doesn't train, but yeah. What have you been reading? Anything good? Any good books going on the go? Or I've actually found that I haven't read as much as I usually do because there's so much stuff going on in my head at the minute that I can't really focus on reading a book, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I've read three books, I think. I think about three, yeah. Um, a couple on investment and an old one that I like called The Alchemist. Anyone that follows me on Instagram would have seen what I've been reading. I post it on there quite regularly. The Alchemist about the Spanish goat farmer? Yeah. Goat farmer is <laughs> a shepherd. Ah, Shepherd, yeah. In Shepherd, yeah. It's really good. Nice, peaceful read. That's the pretty bad one. I mean, um, the, the investment book sounds quite quite intense. Are those Michael Lewis books about the stock market crash and things like that, or is it about how uh, to invest? No, it's more of a general thing. It's just, it is about sort of 2008 crash, um, all that kind of stuff, and yeah, just, just kind of trying to educate myself in a little bit of a different, different way so that I can, yeah, just kind of think about things that... On football. Well, what's what's it been like adju adjusting to the kind of new normal that we all kind of experience now? Um, it's been alright to be honest. I think both me and Harry, my housemate, we're both introverted kind of characters. So on a day off, I tend to just kind of not really speak to anyone, go out for a little bit, go out and do my exercise, come in, chill. So it's been quite nice. I mean, four weeks of it is a little bit too long, but. Um, I think when you see what's going on outside and in hospitals, you kind of realise that what we're doing is is saving lives, and we don't have to go and fight a war. We have to sit at home and watch Netflix. So I think we got it quite easily. Anything quite good quite to recommend for Netflix? I mean, I've spoken to a couple of players. There's been Niskin's recommended a Turkish film I've never heard of, and he didn't describe <laughs> it well enough to be able to watch it. What, what have um, you been watching? I've been watching. I've uh, been watching Brooklyn Nine Nine, the, the police show, which. On it. It's just stu stupid, but it's so entertaining. Yeah, just keep watching it. I've watched. I tried to watch that um, tiger cat thing, but I couldn't really get into it. There's a good one that I watched the other day called Unorthodox. So I definitely recommend it. What's it about? It's about the uh, Hasidic Jewish community and and like people trying to escape from that and like it, it's really interesting actually. Ah, I'll give it a watch. I probably won't, but I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> But aside from aside from what's been going on in terms of your books, your 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 watching Netflix and you know adjusting to that new normal, what's it been like in terms of getting an exercise regime and getting things in place? How's the club kind of aided in that process? So they've been really good actually. Um, pre lockdown, they kind of knew what was what what was going to happen, what was going to happen, yeah. And um, so they delivered the exercise equipment to uh, to to us. So I think you've probably seen any fans that have been watching on sort of people's Instagrams and stuff. They, they've been doing walk bike sessions. They delivered me a walk bike. They delivered me a few sort of weights and, and stuff. And then Ali, the um, fitness coach, has been has been really, really hot on sort of setting up. So we've got a Strava group, so everyone posts runs that they're doing in that. Um, they've been doing Zoom, Zoom, is it Zoom? Zoom um, walk bike group sessions, which I've not participated in because I can't stand the walk bike. I prefer to go out and run um, on my own. But yeah, there's been a lot of um, a lot of stuff behind the scenes that obviously fans and, and people want to see. But the, the lads have been working very hard, and, uh, and I know that the um, that we will come back in decent enough shape. How, what's what's it like motivating yourself to, to to hit targets and do targets without really necessarily knowing when it's potentially going to come back? It, it, what's that like motivating yourself to do that? Um, it is tough. You do get days where you sort of wake up and you're just like, honestly, I can't. It did. Will anyone know if I don't do my gym session today or I won't do my run today? No, they won't. But I think for anyone that's got into like the position that we're in, as in sort of being a professional and, and at a club like Fulham, self-motivation is a... Is a um, the massive part of it.
but there's been strong dialogue from the fitness department, from Ali and other other members of staff to kind of keep track of what you're doing and to, to make sure that you keep upping those levels, or is it just you have to maintain yeah. what you've been given? Yeah, there's been strong a sort of strong communication from them. Even little things like they've offered um, uh, a fruit like a fruit and veg delivery company has been delivering people sort of healthy food because obviously it's a time where it's hard and, and it's a bit stressful, especially with the people with young families going out and using supermarkets. So they've been they've been really good across across the board, uh, um, making sure that we're working hard and, and staying healthy. And it was quite a testing time for everyone. So so without the what bike sessions, you're focusing on running. What are your runs like? Do you set yourself a specific distance, a specific time, or is it just go out there and record what you do? Um, a lot of my stuff is. Um, Strength endurance, so trying to run at a sort of higher speed interval training for, for a longer time because that's what I struggle with. But everyone's different, everyone's got an individual program, and that's the beauty of it is that it's not just kind of Joe go run 10k and like it's the sort of thing saying, like, oh, your, your, your distances throughout the season have been good up until the 70th minute where you might drop a little bit. So we're going to use this time to work on that. It's about using the time we've been given sort of six weeks of. Of downtime it's not downtime but it's it's a good thing it's a good time to work on things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to work on is there is there an element of competition in the squad in terms of do you compete with each other to beat specific times and things like that <laughs> so we had a we had a um one challenge set where we had to everyone had to run 3k as fast as they could um and then the top six or something the top six i can't remember i can't remember exactly what it was it's about six months ago now i feel um but yeah, the top six got got some prizes or something. I can't really remember, but yeah, there is a bit of competition, and especially between between a lot of other footballers as well. A lot of my my friends from other clubs have been sort of posting their running times on on Instagram and on social media. So it's it's a it's a kind of thing where you're looking at it going, oh, hang on, all these lads are doing work. I better, I better jump on and do it as well. <laughs> so do you feel like? This the work you're doing now will enable you to kind of hit the ground running when football is to return or when training sessions are to return. Yeah, for sure. I think if you've got players that have not done anything for the five weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, twelve weeks, whatever it may be, then they're going to be at high risk of injury. They're going to be they're going to be um, a little bit off the pace. But don't get me wrong, not training for six weeks and not and not doing that sort of high intensity training does take its toll. And it probably will be noticeable, but I know everyone within Fulham is trying their hardest to, to, to keep at the required level. Perfect. I mean, it's, it sounds like everything's been put in place for everything to be seamless, but it, it will almost be, it's almost like you're going through a pre-season without being in the collective of the, the squad or being in Portugal or something like that. Is that what it feels like? Yeah. Like you said, every, everything's been put in place for us by the club to... to um, to make sure that we're in the best shape possible when we return, so it's up to it's up to us to, to execute. What, what what do you miss most about like not being able to play football and go into training? Is there anything that you miss in particular? Um, I think just being around a team and sort of being around people. I think that's what most people, whether they are sort of doing a desk job, working working from home or stuff like that, they're missing being around. Other, other human beings. I do live with my housemate Harry, who's making his lunch as we speak. But he's about the only person I've talked to in the last four weeks, and we're sick of each other. It's it's almost like the things the the things that we all took for granted are. It's it's been a life changing time, and and then those things we'll appreciate a lot more when you come back. Just the simple things, you know. Yeah, exactly. The simple things like being able to go out for coffee and speak to your mate, being able to to go home and, and see my niece, things like that. That's the kind of things that are actually important in in life. So hopefully how, it's given us a chance to kind of recalibrate and realise what is actually important. And how's your family all back in the West Country? Are they all okay? Yeah, they're all good. They're just, yeah, mum and dad have retired and they're living in uh, out in the country, so they don't see anyone at the best of times. So my brother's a teacher and he's working from home. I think he's uh, struggling with Zoom calls of 15, nine-year-olds. So mm. I've got it pretty easy, to be honest. And finally, how much, how many games have you been playing during this time? What have you been hitting up the most? Um, I, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say I've died 386 times in the gulag. <laughs> 
But there you go. That's what I need to hear.